Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to learn about how we can use three state buffer or you can say tri state buffer to create a common bus system. But before that, you should know that what is three state buffer. Three state buffer is nothing, it will work as a conventional logic gate, but the only difference is it is having three outputs. Now, how the three outputs? So this is a circuit. Now this triangle, inverted triangle, this is used to represent three state buffer. Here we have two inputs, right? One that is my normal input A and the another one that is a control input C. And I'll get the output that is Y. Now in a Y, I'll get three outputs, right? One that is based on my normal input and the another one is high impedance state, right? So uh, you can consider this as a switch, right? And the switch, the control is based on this control input, right? So when your control input C is equal to zero, this will work as an open switch, right? So I'm ha not having any connection, right? So it will go into the high impedance state right so regardless the input of a suppose i am having a as a zero or one but if my c is equal to zero that means what this entire buffer will work as an open circuit and output i'll get that is high impedance right now if my c is equal to one that means this circuit will work as a closed circuit and once it is closed circuit, I will get the output based on my input. So whatever my input is, the same output I will get, right? So if my C is equal to 1, then I will give, I will have the output that would be A. So suppose if I have A is equal to 0 and my C is equal to 1, then I will get my y that is equal to 0, right? And if my a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1, then I will get y is equal to 1. That means so very simple that if we have a control input that is equal to 1, I will get whatever the input that is, right? If I have a 0, I will get 0. If I have 1 over here, I will get 1, right? But if my control input C is equal to 0, then the entire circuit will work as an open circuit and I will get the high impedance state, right? So this is the basic logic of tri-state buffer, right? Now using this tri-state buffer, we are going to create a common bus system. Earlier you have already seen common bus system using multiplexer, right? Now here we are going to replace that multiplexer with this circuit. Now this circuit is only for the 0th line, right? So this is only for 1 bit, right? So suppose like I need n bit. So for that I need n sort circuit. So keep in mind, this is only for the 1 bit only. So suppose like 4 bit, if we are doing a 4 bit transfer, so for that we need 4 such circuits, right? Now what is there in this circuit? So here we'll have 4 buffer, buffers. We have used 4 tri-state buffer. Now why 4 buffers? Because we are going to transfer from the 4 registers, right? Here, as, you, uh, as we have seen in the earlier one, we have created a bus transfer using multiplexer. At that, uh, at that uh, also we were having four register A, B, C and D. Here also we are assuming that we are having four register. So that's why for each of the register, we need one tri-state buffer. Right. So this is for the 4 register. That's why I have uh, added 4 tri-state buffer over here. Suppose if you want to do it for the 8 register, that means you will have 8 tri-state buffer. Right. So this is for the 4 register. Now 
all the register output of all the register are connected with the common line right this is my tri state buffer so output of this tri state buffer is connected with this again output of this tri state buffer is also connected with the same line right so that means what at a time only one buffer should be active right because i'll get only on the zeroth line either i can get a0 or b0 or c0 or d0 any one of them at a time that means what what is the logic of tri state buffer that if my c right c is equal to 0 that means my output will go in high impedance right high impedance state that means it will work as an open circuit right and if c is equal to 1 at that time i'll get whatever the input that is a simple transfer right so that means what what the logic we required over here that the c would be 1 for any of any one of this line right at a time right so for that what we need so we need we are using over here two cross four decoder right two cross four decoder right so based on my selection line s0 and s1 because i am having four right so s0 s1 that is my selection line so if my s0 s1 is 0 0 right that means zeroth line is selected this is my zeroth line and the siloth line is selected right that means here c would be 1 right and the other will get 0 here 0 0 and 0 that means when selection line s0 and s1 are 0 0 at that time e0 i'll get a0 on my zeroth bit right similar way if i have 0 1 0 1 means what 1 so at that time this would work as a 1 and the others are 0 right so on the zeroth line what i'll get that is b0 right if i'm having 1 0 that means it's pretty easy 0 0 1 and 0 that means at that time c0 would be passed right and if i have 1 1 then simple d0 right so this is a very easy circuit it will only you need to keep in mind that if my c is equal to 0 it would be high impedance and if my c is equal to 1 then the output would be a that means whatever the input right that is a logic right so at that time at a time i need only one buffer to be active right and others should not be active right so for that we have used two cross two cross four decoder right so using that i can give a signal right either i can select 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 any one right uh, i cannot select two signal at a time right that's that you know right that's the logic of two cross four decoder right so if the zeroth line is selected that means here it is one and other will be deactivated only e0 will pass if two is selected so at that time this will be close circuit right and this would work as an open circuit right and whatever the input that i'll get at the zeroth line again i'm telling this is only for the one bit right here i am doing it for the zeroth bit right so if i need to transfer for the four bit i need to create a common bus system for the four bit so i need such four circuit one for the zeroth bit another for the first bit second bit third bit right so for the four bit i need four such circuit and the same way as i told you earlier also that if i need to increase the number of register right here i am having only four register a b c d so i have used four buffers right if i need eight register right if i have eight register need to transfer the bus system for the eight register right then you should have eight such buffers and then you cannot use this two cross four decoder at that time you need to use other three cross eight right so i hope you understood it right so this is about bus line 
common bus system using tri-state buffer. So thank you very much.